could use me a Makoto. Please. Hello everyone, welcome back to Tongarpa V3 Killing Harmony. <clears throat> Last time, we continued on with... With, uh... With this game, as we recently went through and did some training with Kaito and Maki. Yeah, Maki's now part of our training regime. Now we're here in the gym after going through what we know as the... This <laughs> the deal of becoming a man's fantasy, and so yeah, that is our point. And now we're gonna go. And now, supposedly, Angie has now conspired more people to join her group. But as what I would say, um, particularly one, uh person like me is ready to shoot up Angie. And I'm going to do that as Shuichi. <laughs> I am going to do Shuichi now. <laughs> Praise Lord, <laughs> Shuichi. <clears throat> fear like never before. If you face a fear like never before, you'll have no choice but to unite. Now, for the move that will cast you down into the depths of terror. We can resurrect someone? The instructions for the resurrection ritual are written in the ne Necronomicon. By performing the ritual as written, you can resurrect one deceased victim. Right. But one of the four who have died so far can become the transfer student. Whoever you choose, that person will be considered part of the killing this semester. Ah. So technically, you can kill them again as soon as they're resurrected. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you wanted to use it like that. This motive is supposed to bring them closer together. Oh, ooh, s sorry, old habits and such. Monodam, let's forgive Monotero. Forgiving is what friends do, you know. Monopony, you're nice. But there is more to friendship than being nice. Friends also punish each other when they do something wrong. That's why I'll have you punish Monotero. Why? Me? Please, no, not Monopony. I'm always mocking her when she's not looking. I don't want to be punished by her. Fine, I'll do it! We were all completely dumbfounded. I feel like this academy has prepared me for absurd situations. But what I just heard was the most absurd thing so far. Incomprehensible. Transfer student? Resurrecting the dead? Don't say such a th stupid thing. There's no way resurrecting the dead is possible. It just can't happen. Sheesh! Who, who the fuck would believe that load of unscientific bullshit? Listen. Disbelief due to the lack of scientific merit is simply the hubris of a scientific society. This ritual, or rather, resurrection ceremony, stems from funeral ceremonies the world over. See, they are similar, yes? The acting of sending the dead to the next world is a sort of ritual. Though rumors and legends, that ritual twisted into a way to return the dead to this world. A ritual. So? Since you came rambling about it, I'm guessing you really believe all that stuff, Honkyo. <laughs> what are you saying? There is no way the dead can be resurrected. Huh? What? Do you understand? Without a doubt, the souls of the dead exist, but they cannot be brought back to life. Dead flesh cannot be restored, just as broken glass cannot be mended. Mm. So you believe in souls, but you don't believe those souls can be resurrected. Uh. That seems confusing, but I know if we ask, this conversation will just go on forever. If Naomi Q believes it, then there's, there's no such thing as resurrecting the dead. And this idealistic degenerate can't believe it either. No reasonable girl would believe it either. Hmm, you think so? I don't think it's strange for the dead to for the dead to come back to life. <laughs> the cookie bitch is finally talking. But too bad, no one's interested in your bullshit cult. No, no wait. Let's see what Angie has to say. Right. Yes, Angie is free to speak. Yay. Can I say? Yay! Okay, I'm gonna say it. I'm prepared. I prepared my sidearm in my pocket. No one expected to see me pull it out, but in the end, I had to shoot that bitch three times. Cause that's what it all desires. Right now. <laughs> I can't follow this conversation at all. 
All right, you fucking psychotic bitch. So you believe you can revive the dead, Angie? I don't think the resurrection ritual really can really bring the dead back to life. It's probably more like returning the dead to us. What do you mean? You know the bodies of all the victims have been cleaned up? So cleaned, it's like there was never a dead body to begin with. So maybe they were never dead to begin with. Alright, what bullshit are you speaking out of your mouth this time? They weren't dead? Obviously, um... We wouldn't really believe this if, uh... In this case, Kurumi fell from, like... A huge long length, or feet. Like, from a building. Let's say. Like, let's say from a, like, a... A... Six-story hotel. Let's say Karumi fell off that. You believe she didn't die from that? <laughs> exactly, all your bones shattering. Your skin is like mushed. And once you hit, like, slam on the ground, especially face first, though she landed on her back. They weren't dead? No. No, that's not possible. We inspected all the bodies ourselves. Rentaro guy literally got hit in the head. <laughs> It might have been a very accurate imitation! That doesn't make sense. No. An imitation? Monokuma and the Exodus are evidence of ridiculous scientific advancements. That doesn't fucking matter! So it may be possible for them to create extremely convincing imitations. Yeah. That's what Angie says, and I'm starting to plainly agree! Oh boy. Mm. I've always supported Angie. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, everyone! Wait. wait, no! Wait a minute! I saw him with my own eyes! Ah, don't raise your voice! Don't raise your voice to Angie, you rude degenerate! Why? Hey, you don't want them to be alive, sweetie! You don't want the dead to be alive! That's true, but... I do! I do want that! I wish they were still alive, even now that I think it. But no matter how much we want that... What? Oh, wait! If we weren't alive, that means they're somewhere in school, right? So maybe one of them write message in courtyard? The message in the courtyard? That's what Gonto was referring to. Gonta, you know about the letters written in the courtyard, right? No. Yeah, but it's sort of different now. On the way here, Gonta go see writing in the courtyard. Hey. So yeah, it was Horse, but now the worse Inma or something. And it have more writing this time. Huh? More writing? Um. Gonta no could understand what writing m mean, but maybe, right. maybe a message from dead. Maybe everyone leave message for us that say, "Hey, we alive." Huh? A message from everyone who died, cause no one here write it, did they? So someone else must have write it, right? So you're saying a dead person high in the school wrote that message? Or, 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 or. get this, Monokuma did it. In other words, the message from the dead, or some alive student is playing with us. Possibly the mastermind. But wait, a message from the dead? What the actual fuck? Out of way, there's no more to find than me reunited with a friend. As you spoke, Angie picked the Necronomicon off the floor. Okay. Angie, whatever are you planning to do with that? Are you actually planning to perform the ritual? You do know it's a motive, yes. There is a lot of suspiciousness. This could instead be disaster. No. But perhaps it's a motive that's dangerous to ignore rather than dangerous to use. Listen closely. For example, maybe the people who've died are actually alive. And if we don't perform the ritual, maybe they'll be killed for certain this time? Hmm, oh. it would be a problem if we allowed four potential survivors to die. Thank you. Yeah, you're so smart for telling us, Gonta. You're serious with those four people. Huh? huh? And she approached Gonta with her usual white smile and... You work so hard, Gonta. You're always trying to keep everyone safe. Even when you go berserk, you're still considerate of everyone else, aren't you? I know this because Atua is always watching you. 
always watching Gota. Don't worry. You're not alone, Gonta. Atua is like a gentle grandmother, watching over you and keeping you safe. Grandmas are nice. What? <laughs> huh? Channel grandmother? I thought you said Atua was a handsome man. I think she's Atua changes his appearance depending on who's looking. Yeah, something fish is going on here. Whoa. Well, that's not suspiciously convenient at all. Oh, oh yeah? Why don't you turn a student council, Conta? Right. Yeah, it'd be really assuring if you're part of the student council, Conta. Mm. Mm -hmm. You will use your power for the peace of this academy. <laughs> See how much everyone needs you, Conta? You should definitely join. Really? You need Conta? Okay, Conta joins student council too. Wait. Wait, before all that, what exactly is the student council? Is that why you've been acting weird? Yes. Last night, Angie summoned us to discuss how we can eradicate the killing right. game. Me, Kibo, Tenko, and Samugi. Yes. And we arrived to a conclusion that I'm fucking lying! Or maybe I'm not! This is the Ultimate Academy Student Council, with Angie Yonaga as our president. Ultimate Academy Student Council? <laughs> how much bullshit am I listening to right now? <laughs> Our platform is the wholesale eradication of the killing game. Yeah. Our student council promises a killing game free ultimate academy. Huh? Uh, student council. And Angie is the president? Yes. There was no harmony between us if we can if we keep saying different things. Oh shut up! Why? What? Well, it's, it is called the student council, but all the decision making is done by Atua. <laughs> <laughs> but since Angie can speak of Atua, she's the only one worthy of leading the council. Even Makoto would be fed up with this bullshit. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to follow Angie too. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Atua is happy too. Oh, man. Ah, jeez. They've been totally brainwashed. Alright, where is the Glock? <laughs> Angie has spread her influence before we've even realized. But it makes sense if you think about it. This place has all the conditions for a cult to form. The fear of a death that cannot be avoided. Cults are born from a desire to escape that. So she's using this situation to take the over to school to make us dependent on the Tua. Using as a rude way to describe it. Shut up! <laughs> the president wants peace for the school, and we all agree with her noble wisdom. Yeah, go to not let anyone talk bad about student council. You literally just fucking join them, you brainwashed idiot! But I'm surprised Tenko decided to join the student council after chapter 2. Oh, uh, why? Because you and Angie were fighting over Himiko, were you not? Who uh, cares about that? Finally, it's how great a tour is. Yeah, there's obviously one fake person in here. So? That's right, that's right. Now, what were we talking about again? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was an action ritual, right? I'm burning it. Just leave this to the student council. It's less burning some if the two one makes a decision. Wait. Less burning some? That's a release. If it's the two's decision, that's definitely the right one. Yeah. yeah, there's no way a two would be wrong. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, a two is always right. Are you guys serious? The resurrection ritual is clearly a trap. <laughs> It'll be fine, as long as everyone puts their aside their desire to leave. I doubt they'd listen to anything we'd have to say. It's true that they're probably not going to listen, but you can at least help too, Kaito. What's wrong with him? He's been quiet this whole time. In the end, we couldn't stop the student council. We left it at that and went our separate ways. Oh, what? So now, everyone, it is time. It is time. Let us go in search of a man's fantasy. I'll join the the protagonist council. I headed to the pool. My heart's safety was off, and I was going in guns blazing. What an incredible sight to behold! My fantasy shining like a supernova. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. All right. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Screenshot. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know if I can... So this is what Angie was planning. A party for the student council. Anyway, I saw it. I then immediately questioned the morality of my actions. I just have to keep quiet. Keep it inside. Keep it together. <laughs> so indeed, with that, um... Chamber students, reviving the dead. A tour, student council. So many heavy conversations this morning. No. I shouldn't just sit here and complain. There is, so there has to be something I can do. I have to find something. <clears throat> like going to the casino. So that is the man's fantasy cutscene. I ended up missing this <laughs> in my first one, but then I looked at it. So the person I want to talk to after I go ahead and I have it right. Okay, I have plenty. So the person we're going to talk to next is going to be Maki, wherever she is. In her, well, her area. And Kokichi's in the tennis room. Yeah. We will talk with Kokichi too during these free time events. As that is our next pit stop. So we'll take this a little bit more slow than usual and whatnot, but yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. I was gonna turn in those coins. I was gonna go. Well, you know what? We'll just, we'll just go in. We'll just go in. We already used it once. So, yeah. We'll get it the next time. Anyways, so we're gonna go ahead and do this. The man's fantasy burning within all the protagonists. I mean, Makoto couldn't avoid seeing Kyoko, so, you know, <laughs> win win. I still have to finish the thumbnails, but I am procrastinating hard on them. Oh, don't hit the car. We, I played Need for Speed. Oh yeah, I should actually tell. Um, I recently went through uh, the PlayStation November savings and grabbed like eight games and whatnot. And I have ideas for uh, my next playthroughs and whatnot. Uh, but one of the games I played was Need for Speed Rivals and whatnot. And um, 
Need for Speed Rivals, like, was all, like, my time playing it was actually a lot of fun, because I haven't played a racing game in a long time. There's, like, there's Need for Speed Rivals and a set of Corsa that I bought, because a set of Corsa had its uh, Ultimate Edition up and running, so, like, I could go ahead and play that. But man, Toa City. But yeah, Need for Speed Rivals was actually was a lot of fun, and it was fun playing a racing game again. So we'll go ahead with the slot machine. And we'll continue to 2600. Or depending on which wherever we get. Okay. Rise and shine, or sign. Now we're at four thousand. Oh, lucky. Man, my luck is just not it today. I mean, I can't say that. I literally got two straights. Another one, huh? Ah. Uh. Oh? Rise and shine, Earth sign. What is this? Straight city. Alright, well, we'll continue on soon. Alright, this is our final spin. And there we go. We'll, you'll pro we'll probably be seeing more love keys the more, the later on we... Progress. So now we're gonna talk to Maki after we go ahead through the conundrum of swap of smacking chairs. <laughs> Where's my goddamn Mountain Dew?
There we go. There's me. Should I go to her house? Yeah. The warehouse has some. Don't worry, I will talk to Maki during this episode. And then we'll move on with Sh Kokichi in the next episode. Since I believe these all are set during like the days during like each class, uh, school day for these and whatnot. King of Rick decorating! Yeah, I never got that achievement when I was playing those originally. You can tell I played the casino for a long time. My escape key wasn't working. <laughs> Alright, time to not check out depression on the left. <laughs> or more so the right, but yeah. Still though. That is depression lane. Because... Oh, chapter one. Chapter one, man. By the time I'm recording this, you know... We fucking... We finished uploading all of chapter one, so it's like, wow, that was a thing. Maki! What? No. Uh, I don't have anything to say. I just thought we could hang out. I guess that's a no. I thought that train with me and Kaito would bring us closer. Sure. Really? What's with your reaction? You're the one who invited me. 
I was just surprised. I honestly thought you'd reject me. <laughs> All this time, I assumed I was just going to train with two idiots, you and Kaito. And I thought it'd be faster to give in to Kaito's demands. I'm not sure how to feel about that. Even after hearing that, do you still want to hang out with me? Should I hang out with Monkey for a while? Sure. Fine, I'll hang out with you, but I think you'll end up wasting your time on me. That's what another chick said. I spent some time talking with Maki, talking about nothing. Literally. Maki and I grew a little closer today. So I'm gonna give her home planet. Hmm. Is this for me? Hmm. Huh? Do I look mad? I don't show it, but I'm actually pretty happy. Um, hey Maki, you're an assassin, correct? I already said that several times. Detectives really are more skeptical than necessary. Yeah. Well, that's a part of my job. Anyway, I was wondering how you did your work. I never heard of assassins working together, but she couldn't be working alone. Wouldn't assassins, wouldn't assassination organizations disband after they become known? That is true. If you want to know my job, then I don't mind talking about it. It won't be a problem. Maki's voice was confident, but she swiftly averted her gaze. Hey. Have you heard of the Holy Salvation Society? No, no. that's the first I've heard of it. Oh, yeah. Of course, a normal person wouldn't have no affiliation to any cults. Yeah. A cult? What does this have to do with your assassinations, though? That's the assassination organization I belong to. What? You belong to a cult? A Even though you're a detective, you're pretty slow. It's a new cult, from behind the scenes. It trains assassins. What? That sounds made up. It's real. The founder is the boss of the organization, and all, sta and all staff are part of it. The clients ask for consultation, and the fee is a donation. That's how it's set up. The other believers don't matter. They're there, fi they're there for the founder. I'm not sure of the details. Hmm. I can't believe it. A cult like that exists in our country? Hmm. Well, it's fine. They disguise it so those things aren't revealed to the public. When you hear about a cult, it makes you want to stay away, right? Well, well yes, it does give up that impression. Mm. Being shady like that is just a cover up for illegal things like assassinations. As a society, the cult is pretty normal, and it hasn't caused any trouble either. The boss and the staff actually don't believe in their god, but they haven't been punished for their sins. God really doesn't exist in this world. Her tone was neither demanding nor cold. She sounds as if she just accepted that that's the way things are. Yeah. Then I assume you're a devotee in this cult? Yeah. Of course not. It may seem that way since I'm affiliated with the cult, but... Wait, can't you figure out that out without thinking? Are you sure you're a detective? That's true. I suppose she couldn't be. Yeah. There are several assassins besides me, but no one is devout. We don't really get along with each other anyways, so I wouldn't know. So you don't share that kind of information with each other? Of course not. When the time comes, assassinations will, assassins will be cut and disposed of. Her tone hadn't changed. She's just accepted it. What did I say to put her in that state of mind? Maki's report card has been... A... Yeah. Still but dazed by Maki's incredible stories, I return to my room. Still getting my water. There's still some time. And with that, we will continue on with Dawn of Pavithi Community Harmony next time when we go ahead to the casino to do more things related to the casino. Thank you so much for coming by on this lovely day of Dawn of Pavithi Community Harmony. Peace, peeps.